Now, revising for the character of Jane Eyre herself can be a somewhat challenging task considering that the entire novel runs close to 500 pages long. It can be really daunting to know exactly what quotations to pick out for the different characters including Jane Eyre, the main protagonist. Therefore, what I thought would be really useful to do is to pick out the key quotations, the key top line quotations to remember for Jane Eyre's character as well as the word level analysis you should do for each quotation. So as you can see behind me, I've essentially prepared the major quotations to remember. Of course, if you can remember more quotations for Jane Eyre's character, do go ahead and do so. However, don't forget that you are considering Jane Eyre's character as well as lots of other characters in the novel, okay? So this video is really just to distill the key quotations to remember when it comes to the character of Jane Eyre and the word level analysis to do for each quotation and what you need to remember. Now, the first quotation when it comes to Jane Eyre's character character is firstly when she describes that I am no bird and no net ensnares me. Now this is really powerful because she is going against this notion that Victorian women are very helpless. They need to be uh, protected. They have no freedom. She actually is showing that she's very independent and very strong-willed and here she's illustrating it through the metaphor she is no bird as opposed to a lot of people at the time who saw women as these very fragile creatures like birds that need protection and also these birds live in cages okay but she's saying that she doesn't live in this cage and she rejects any idea of protection the second quotation is when she states that no net ensnares me and the verb ensnares illustrates that Jane Eyre actually sees herself as a very independent woman and she takes pride in her independence now the second quotation to remember and this actually ties into this previous quotation in terms of her independence is when she states I am a free human being with an independent will and here you want to focus on the adjective free to describe how Jane Eyre actually sees herself as an aut autonomous woman who deserves to have the same kind of freedom and power as men. The other keyword level analysis to do is alliteration of W, so with and will. And finally, the adjective independent. And here she is hinting that contrary to how people saw women as very helpless, they need protection of men, actually she takes pride in her independence. Now, the other quotation to relate to Jane Eyre's character is when she contradicts Mr. Rochester. She tells him, I don't think, sir, you have a right to command me simply because he is older than her. Now, this is really powerful because what this illustrates is how Jane Eyre, even if she's very polite, she's still a very strong-willed woman and she's able to hold her own in front of men and she's also able and capable of intelligent judgment. Now, the first word level analysis to do is, of course, the declarative sentence here. So declarative sentence is a sentence that states a fact, feeling or mood and of course it's a structural technique and here what this is showing is that Jane Eyre is very very strong willed okay. Now the other quotation to remember is when she states and she's looking at Mr Rochester speaking to Blanche Ingram and her family and she asserts that he is not of their kind. I believe he is of mine. Now this is really powerful these two sentences and these two are simple sentences because firstly she she, the noun kind, this alludes to class, right? Because she's saying that even if he is of a similar class status as uh, the Ingram family, actually he doesn't think like they do. He's not necessarily trapped to some of the ideas that people of their status believe in. He's much more free-spirited, Mr. Rochester. And the second word level analysis you want to do here is the possessive pronoun mind. So she believes that even if she's an orphan, she's a working class woman, she actually occupies the same status as Mr. Rochester insofar as intellectual intellect and insofar as understanding and she appreciates Mr. Rochester and that's actually what causes her to fall in love with him. The other quotation to remember for Jane Eyre's character is when she states and this is when she was much younger okay so this is earlier on when she meets Helen Burns and Helen Burns is teaching her to um, rather than an eye for an eye and rather than having revenge it's important to turn the other cheek however this is when before when she was very tempestuous and very angry and she stated to Helen Byrne when we are struck at without reason we should strike back again very hard okay and of course this is in contrast to how she later on realizes that it's really important to forgive and live Christian values of forgiveness now this uttered by a young Jane Eyre you want to focus on the word level analysis of we which is repeated so the repetition of the pronoun the collective pronoun 
we and of course the violent verb struck and this is repeated again strike back again and here this shows Jane Eyre initially when she was much younger and hence why she was sent off to Lowood she was somebody who was very vengeful she was very strong-willed and also fairly violent in defending herself and of course she then later learns that she needs to temper that side of herself the final quotation to remember for Jane Eyre's character is when at the end when she is reunited with Mr Rochester she tells him wherever you are is my home ellipsis my only home and here of course you've got the repetition of the noun home twice and of course this shows just how authentic her love is for Mr Rochester he has lost Thornfield Hall he's lost a majority of his fortune and even still she sees herself as tied to him she's not with him for his status or his money she's with him because she genuinely loves him him. So that's it when it comes to key quotations to remember for the character of Jane Eyre.